Hey what's up guys it's me again and welcome back to my channel Meta What Ifs today I am back with the new series the name of this series is What If Naruto could copy and paste uh, any jutsu and yeah guys it is an unscripted series and my own idea now before continuing this sorry for not uploading regularly it's because an internet issue is going on here I even got a formal email from them saying that they're trying their best to resolve this issue their wires or something like that has been damaged and they're trying their best to find it and repair it physically so it might take a few days and this issue might still persist but hopefully since the internet is working currently fine I'll be able to upload this one and yes it's a series an unscripted one and here's the catcher about this you can all add on into this series by commenting down what do you guys think should be added deducted or changed after each and every part I don't know how many parts I'm going to make of this hopefully a lot and yeah that's for the scripted series I haven't finished that yet because I'm still writing it at a slower pace and it's Jimmy's idea that's the least thing I can spoil moving onwards you already know make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and sorry once more again for the inconvenience I'm also suffering a lot because yeah I tried to upload this part yesterday and well it didn't work because it was asking at least five hours until the whole video was uploaded and I was literally frustrated because it was stuck at two percent I was so so angry and in the end I gave up as you all know from the community tab post hopefully that doesn't happen anymore and guys I need your help please help me cross 1000 subscribers I know we can do it please please if you haven't subscribed please do I really really need your help alright it will mean a lot to me if you do and if you already have you also are an OG and I love you guys anyways enough said enough of begging and requesting and yeah without any further ado let's begin the first part of this series on this channel. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato, 13 years after the QB attack. As we go towards the sad village to see that it was night time, and we see outside of the Hokage office a lot of shinobis were gathered. As they all were called there by the current leading Hokage of the sad village, Hiruzen Sarutobi, as Hiruzen was about to address them. As Hiruzen then said, All of you have been called here for only one reason. The scroll of sealing has been stolen, and the one who stole this is none other than Naruto. Now it might be his prank, or m someone must have put him up to this. Now I want you all to go out and search for the scroll and Naruto, and bring them both unharmed here back. Insolence and ignoring the orders won't be tolerated. I hope you understand. Move out! And without saying a word, the shinobis left with the sunshine. As now we see on the other side all the way into the forest of death at the rendezvous point where Naruto Uzumaki was seated, he was opening the scroll and searching for a cool jutsu that would allow him to pass. He already found one and that was the Shadow Clone Jutsu. After learning the seals and still being unsuccessful, he thought maybe he should search for something else and that is when his eye fell upon something, an incomplete jutsu that was marked with red kanjis saying warning to not use not even recommended for kages it was a project of Mita Uzumaki that would change the very face of the shinobi world in its own right but due to its it being dangerous and being abandoned by her Konoichi of caliber nobody ever had the guts to pick it up not even Tobirama Senju or the fourth Okage or even Hiruzen Sarutobi as Naruto Curiosity was at its full peak because he had just found a jutsu that nobody, not even the previous Kage had ever used and it was so awesome that it was labeled as dangerous and not even for the Kages. Obviously Naruto's wish was to become the future Hokage and he thought that what better opportunity than this to learn this technique. So Naruto began to do the hand seals and as soon as he d did the hand seals and clapped its hands together, something happened and that was some sort of screen popped up in front of him and there was a name in front of him as well displayed and that was Naruto Uzumaki and that is when a message appeared do you wish to register at the as the user of the copy and paste system as Naruto was quite confused huh what does this mean do you wish to register as the owner of the copy and paste system the message prompt again as Naruto then was shown two messages 
either yes or no as Naruto flinched back because it was popping up again and again. Naruto was quite curious and fascinated by this because this was something entirely different and new and he will be awesome and a coolest Hokage making everyone recognize him with this one. Yes! said Naruto as he slammed his finger onto the yes and after doing so he was registered as his stats begin to show. As that is when Naruto was quite curious as he began to read. As he then saw strength which was 50 and that is when he saw stamina which was 100 and his stats begin to show and that is when his skills had begin to show which were his jutsus. As Naruto was quite confused, eh? No jutsu huh? Except for Oriki no jutsu. <laughs> Well, that is about to change, as that is when Naruto saw something, a file that was darkened. Does the user wish to see all the hidden abilities and all the things that he can do with his own skill set? A message prompt appeared as Naruto pressed yes, as that is when all the details were shown, even those that he was not meant to see yet. The Naruto is a maki. Jinchuriki of Kyubi no Yoko, the strongest demon, as Naruto's eyes widened, as that is when he froze and realized why the people hated him and why there was a seal that existed on his stomach when he ever used chakra. As Naruto's mind was racing many thoughts per second, as that is when he heard rustling in the bushes and out came Iruka, who saw Naruto frozen with fear. Naruto? he said dropping all his anger and now concern showing on his face. Are you alright? Sensei, am, am I the demon? As Iruka's eyes widen, what do you mean by that, Naruto? Don't don't lie to me. Do, do I have the Kyubi no Yoko sealed within me? Am I its Jinchuriki? As Iruka's eyes widen, as Naruto's fear was confirmed as Iruka's shock was visible. Naruto, who told you this? So it is true. I see why the people hate me now. They think I am the demon. That... Am I? No, Naruto, you're not. You're you're not the demon. You can never be. I had one time, said Iruka, as he gulped before saying this, thought so as well that you were. But you changed my perspective. Now I see that you are not the same monster that attacked us 13 years ago at that night. You're you. As that is when a message prompt in front of Naruto, duck. As Naruto then said, Sensei, duck. Immediately both Iruka and Naruto ducked as at the same time as Fuma Shuriken was thrown towards them, which impaled itself towards the tree from Iruka's side. And from the bushes out came Mizuki with a sinister smirk on his face. Mizuki, what the hell? You could have hurted me. <laughs> that was the plan, Iruka. What? It was the plan. I was the one who told the brat to bring the scroll here after all. What? Why would you do that? Said Iruka, confused by Mizuki's words. Can't you see? I am the one. The one who is behind this all. As Naruto immediately saw, a prompt showed up. As it was Mizuki's prompt, as Naruto clicked on it as all of his jutsu were shown. As Naruto was quite surprised that they were quite mediocre as well. Better than him but still mediocre. And his strength, stamina as well as his health were quite low. So Naruto was prompted with something else. And that was editor of skills. As Naruto was co quite sh shocked that the copy and paste system had a lot of hidden skills and features. As Naruto then said enable. And Naruto dropped each and every bit of his stats down to one. As Mizuki was unaware of that, as Iruka then said, Naruto, behind me, leave this to me. You think you can beat me, Iruka? Fine, I'll show you how strong I am. As Mizuki was about to charge towards Iruka, we see that there was a splinter on the ground on the tree they were standing. As Iruka's, to Iruka and Naruto's surprise, Mizuki was clumsy enough to fall down and his one HP was dropped and now zeros, meaning he was knocked out by his own self after tripping, as both of them had a sweat drop. Wait, what just happened? As Naruto realized just what he did, and he was happy and his curiosity and pranking senses were tingling with this, thinking all the chaos he could cause, and that is when he remembered why this was the sacred jutsu, 
and why he shouldn't tell anyone about this. Because if he did, he knew he will have an earful from his Gigi and many others. And that is when we see he remembered what he told Iruka before all of this went down. Nee, sensei do you still think that I... <sighs> you are cut out to be a shinobi Naruto. I can see that. And I know why you, well, failed. What do you mean? I was just rechecking the test that you took, feeling that there might be something that was wrong, and I was indeed correct. Thanks to your written test and your physical test, you have gained enough strength points that allows you to become a shinobi. So, as Iruka took off his hairband, headband and gave it to Naruto. Here you go, Naruto. You deserve this. You are now my comrade. Not my student anymore, but my comrade. As Naruto was in tears after receiving his headband, after trying again and again for the third time. As after that, we have a scene cut to Okage office where we see Naruto sitting in front of Hiruzen as Iruka explained everything. As Mizuki was arrested as well. Naruto, you're not going to be in trouble, my boy. But you need to realize if someone asks you for such a thing, you need to come and consult with me first. It was supposed to be a test, Gigi, or so I thought. A secret test. Even from you. Ah, my boy, that is why I'm telling you. If someone in the future ever tells you such a thing to do, you better come to me, okay? Yes. Um, Hokage-sama, said Iruka about the thing. Alright, you can leave it, Uka. Thank you for informing me. So you want to know if you are the demon or not, Naruto? Yes. As that is when a prompt showed, and that was the copy and paste skill this time around, and it was from Hiruzen himself. Naruto was shocked to find out that he had a lot of skill sets there. A lot of fire jutsus, earth style jutsus, as well as water style jutsus. Naruto obviously was smirking and began to copy and paste them. As Iru Iruzen's eyes eyebrow rose, so you learned the sacred technique from the scroll, Naruto. It was warned to us by Mito-sama that it was a dangerous technique. As Naruto was now literally shaken, because this shouldn't have been known by Hiruzen, because and because it was not meant for the Hokages, unless he, yes, Naruto. Before you think so too as well. Why do you think I became the professor? So wait. You too have this used to. I used to have that. You see, the system has a complication where whenever someone else uses this jutsu and becomes the owner of the system, the previous owner, well, he stripped. Wait, so someone can take it from me as well? No, not for the 20 years or so. That prompt appears only after 20 years. I was, during that time, able to gain a lot of skills and was able to save them fully, hence becoming the professor. Seriously? Of course, Naruto. That is how I did. Now since you have the copy and paste skill, you must have also been aware of the editor and so on, right? Yes. But how did she come up with such a thing? Mito-sama always was one curious soul and wanted to find out how far she can push the Fuenjutsu. This is the peak that she took. What, what do you mean by that? She created an artificial... An artificial... Kekegenka in Naruto that allows you to copy, cut, or edit, or paste any jutsu or stats of other person. You see how dangerous that is? But remember, this only works when the other person is in your vicinity. Vicinity of your range. How far is that? Well, it's hard to tell. It depends upon your chakra and how, well, mature you have gotten using this technique. Seriously? Yes. And unfortunately, I can't help you since I cannot see the prompts. Only you can. And it is up to you to decide what you wish to do with it, my boy. Wait, so you're... Yes. I am giving you full permission to use it. But do not abuse it, Naruto. And one more thing. This shouldn't be known to anyone, not even to the elders, because if they find out, they will demand this technique from you. And not only from you, they will demand this to be removed from the Hokage scroll of sealing and publicized. You know how dangerous that is? I, I know, I'm aware. 
good, my boy. And as for the QB no Yoko, yes, as I was about to begin, it is true. Your father and mother were the ones who sealed it within you. W what do you mean? Wasn't the fourth as Naruto's eyes widen? You're telling me that my father was the... Yes, Naruto, your father was the fourth Hokage. And Kushina Uzumaki was your mother. The Red Death of Konoha. As Naruto's eyes were widened. But wait, why are you telling me this? Your father told me to reveal this to you when you are ready. And seeing that you have a Kakegenkai, and not only that, you also have realized the truth and found out the truth on your own. It was hardly going to take you any longer to find the complete truth about your heritage. So I took this chance and revealed the complete truth to you, Nardo. It was kept secret so that you could be saved from your enemies from the outside. But it was a mistake on my end, because I thought telling the people of Konoha that you possess the QB would make them see you as a hero but instead they saw you as the monster in itself because of my mistake you had to suffer said Hiruzen and for that my boy no matter how many times I apologize I know it won't make up but I am sorry for what it is worth thanks Titi said Naruto while still looking quiet it means a lot to me that you are telling me the truth and being honest with me and I promise you one thing, I, I'll try my best to forgive them or ignore them, but if they try to pull some shit on me again, I will, I understand, I'll take care of the council, you live the way you want your life to be, Naruto, no one will interfere, because that was your mother's request, and I have fulfilled your father's ones, it is time I fulfill your mother's, said Hiruzen with a smile as well. As Naruto's eyes widened, as he was given a scroll which led him to a direction where the Uzumaki no Mikaze house was. Inside that, Naruto found a crib which was supposed to be his. It was emotional for him. As now we see, after having finding the bedroom which was supposedly his father and mother, there's clothes still being in there, intact thanks to the seals that prevented any rust or dust getting in there. We see that Naruto was somehow feeling nostalgic even for the first time being there and he was in tears his own home he was there as now we see naruto finally laid on the bed to get some shut eye as that is when we see he opened his eyes to find himself in front of a huge barred gate as naruto immediately knew it who it was as the QB's red eyes open so you do possess the same cursing ability as mito now boy said the biju what? That accursed ability that she created. An abomination that shouldn't exist. The copy paste system, as you call it. Wait, how are you? She was my first in Churiki, you damn brat. How do you think I know about this? She basically copied. She basically cutted me from the real world and pasted me inside the seal. As she, the QB crawled, as Naruto literally was holding his laughter because QB was just cut it and pasted inside the seal, and that was to him hilarious as hell. As now we see, the QB growled, Shut up, you damn brat! Don't you dare make fun of me! Sorry, it was kind of funny when you think about it. Don't you dare mock me, brat! I can still rip you to shreds. Why am I even here? I called you here to warn you about that ability. What? What is it? That ability, even though you see it as an opportunity, it is quite dangerous. It can be too much for you if you try to implement a lot of skills or try to play God. That ability will be dangerous for not only for yourself but for the others as well. So I suggest you use it very carefully and with caution. And I will help you to learn it as well. Wait, 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 said Naruto. Well, now why in the hell would you think that I would ask for your help? Said Naruto to the Biju. Can't you see, Brad? I was imprisoned in the creator of the system. She was the one who found out what potential it held. Do you think I wouldn't have taken notes of a thing or two of how the things work? Yeah, that is correct, but what do you get out of it? Listen. What do I get out of it? Hmm. I basically want two things. 
One, that you do not request for me or my help. Second, once you die, either in a battle because of your incompetence, hey, said Naruto, or due to an old age. Once you're dead, I want to be free, free from this imprisonment once and for all. If we have this deal, I will help you, and I promise that I won't try to kill you or, well, fool you in any way. As after that we see, Naruto then looked towards his system and said, I can see your stats, Kurama. As QB Growl, do not dare say that name. Only my father is allowed to say that name. You have no right. Okay, jeez, calm down, you old fox. I was just trying to be nice since we're gonna work together and all. So you agree to my conditions? Yes, I guess I do. Good, good. As now we see, after that, the next day came and the whole night Naruto and Kurama or QB were working together. As Naruto was being taught how to use the system, surprisingly Kurama inside the Mindscape could see Naruto's system as it was prompted in front of him and guided him throughout how it worked. As Naruto was ready to go out and gather a lot of skills now. As he was now currently sitting inside the academy classroom as Shikamaru asked, Hey Naruto, you do know that today only those who pass the test are supposed to be here. Oh yeah, Shikamaru, can't you see the headband? I passed the test too, I'm here. Huh? What a drag. Why are you on my case? I only was trying to tell you that. As that is when the door bursted open and in came the most two nutcases of the class. Even not more of a nutcase than Naruto himself. Sakura Haruno, Ino Yamanaka, the die-hard fangirls of Sasuke Uchiha. As Naruto, for the first time, sighed, seriously, those two can't be more louder than this, can they? To hell with I know. As now we see, Shikamaru went down and s sat down on his desk and was now resting as Iruka came. Everyone settle down, and you too, Sakura, you know. But Sensei, shut up, sit down. Now, I'm proud to say that all of you have passed. Wait, Sensei, how come Naruto is here? said Kiba. Well, Kiba and Naruto was able to pass the test yesterday. But we all thought that he failed as everyone chuckled. Hey, Kiba, I passed the test. Can't you see much? I have this headband right here. As everyone chuckled at Kiba this time around. As now we see, Iruka said, Enough! Using the big hair jutsu. As I was saying before, interrupted by Kiba. Naruto has indeed passed. And he is going to be a canon as well alongside all of you. Today you are called here to be informed that you will be placed into teams and I am going to announce the teams as such. As every team was announced as in canon and one by one the senses came and began to pick them up. Except for the so called team 7 that was made up of Naruto Uzumaki, Sakura Haruno and Sasuke Uchiha. As Naruto's heritage was yet have have to be revealed because Hiruzen had to do a meeting and the meeting was still yet to be conducted. As Naruto had to live with the fact that he was still in Uzumaki and not recognized as an Amikaze, so no one was aware of that. As Naruto was thinking of what would the people's reaction be when his heritage would be revealed, as we see, Sakura then said, Ah, I had enough. When is this sensei going to come? Everyone must be conducting their test by the time now. As that is when the door opened and in came Kakashi. Sorry, a black cat crossed my path. I had to take a detour. As Sakura face walled as Naruto's eyebrow twitched, as Sasuke then said, Enough. Can we begin already or what? I have more important things to do. As Kakashi with an eye smile then said, Hmm, my first impression of all of you, you all suck. As after that, they all face faulted. As after informing them of where to meet, they all Kagashi vanished as they all arrived there within two minutes because the time limit was five. After arriving there, we see that the introduction was made as in canon and they were told about the things they need to do for the test. The next morning, Naruto arrived there, but the QB suggested him that he should eat breakfast. And after trusting him for some reason, Naruto did what he was told and arrived there more energetic. As for the other two, not was the case. And once Kakashi arrived, the test began. And as soon as it did, 
it was already apparent that Naruto was indeed putting in the effort and was close multiple times to getting the bells, even surprising Kakashi and the other two while the other two were having a hard time. As Naruto realized what it was meant to be, all thanks to QB. Think, kid. What is it, you old fox? Now is not the time. Ah, brat. Think about it. How many Genins do you see in a single team alongside their sensei? Three. Has there only been two? No. As that is when Naruto realized. Wait, he lied to us. Of course he did, you damn idiot. You finally realize it, don't you? Yeah, I do. Good. Now track down your sensei where he is and use that copy-paste system of yours to copy his skill and drop his, well, stamina all the way down. Wait, won't that, you know, hurt him bad? No, it will increase your chances of winning. As now we see, Naruto was finally able to locate Kakashi who was reading his book. After using the copy-paste system on him and opening his prompt skills, Naruto was able to see Chidori as well as Raikiri. And not only that, there was Kamui there as well and a lot of other techniques, but the prominent ones were three highlighted above as Naruto then thought, hmm, how about these three? As Naruto copied the three of them and added them to his arsenal. Now all he needed was to click on the technique and master them by practicing them once or twice. As Naruto thought what a better way, as that is when Kakashi who was busy reading heard a familiar sound sound of a burst chirping as that is when his eyes were and as he saw from where it came alerting himself fully as he saw something that shocked him to the core naruto was dashing towards him with a chidori in his hand a lightning infused hand as sasuke and sakura were both amazed as well at this as naruto then said chidori as kakashi was able to dodge it in the nick of time thanks to being a jonin and his experience as he then said how in the hell as that is when he decided it was time to get serious. Naruto still got the 10,000 years of pain jutsu, which caused him to fly up in the air for a mile or two. On the other side, the other two were not able to get the bell in the end time. As while they were in the penalty, as Kakashi went away, after having a hard feel uh, moment with them, Naruto told him, he was lying to us about the test. What do you mean, Naruto? Have you ever seen a team of cannons where only... Two Genins are inside a team and a sensei. There always have been three, Sakura. You're the sm smartest one in the group, and yet you forgot that. As Sakura looked down because what Naruto has mentioned was indeed correct. As Sasuke was also quiet. So what are you saying, Naruto? We all need to work together. That is what he wants from us. He wants to see if we are ready to sacrifice ourselves for the other ones or not. As both were shocked because it was Naruto who was spewing these words. Um, Naruto. Sasakura, are you sure you're alright? Wait, what, what? What do you mean by that? You're talking some sense. And that is quite uncommon. Hey, give, cut me some slack. I can talk some sense too as well, you know? No, Naruto. You never made any sense. That's quite terrifying. Said Sakura as Sasuke nodded. As that is when Kakashi arrived there. Well, you found out the truth, Naruto. So, what do you say if I give you the two bells, what would you do? I'll give them to the other two. Then I would fail you, wouldn't I? I don't care. At least the other two teammates would be able to move on. Right? Aside from mission, it is important to take care of your teammates, Sensei. Because they're like your secondary family out there on the field, always having your back. Said Naruto with a smirk, as Kakashi was genuinely impressed. And that is when we see, he said, All right, it is decided, you all pass. And congratulations on becoming the official Team 7. As that is when we see, Ananbu arrived. Team 7, Kakashi Hatake, and Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze-san, you have been called by Hokage-sama. You are coming with me while the rest of you can make your way to the Hokage Tower. As Kakashi stood there frozen. As Naruto then said, See you later. As he too vanished with the sunshin, as that is when Sakura then said, What does this mean? Namakaze. Wasn't that the name of the fourth Hokage? And why is it added in front of Naruto's name? As Sasuke's eyes were in, could it be? Wait, it can't be. Is, is Naruto the fourth Hokage's son? As that is when, Kakashi remained quiet. 
As he then said, all we can do is just go and find out. What is Tsukagi-sama thinking? Kagashi thought to himself, is the kid prepared? I mean, he is a genius, able to use Raikiri and all that. But still, as now we see, the three of them arrived there as he was then being people of Konoha. As you are all aware, 13 years ago, the QB attacked our village, but the fourth Okage defeated it by sealing it inside a child. That child was none other than Naruto here. As the younger generation gaped, gasped while the older generation looked at him. Some with smirks thinking that the Hokage was going to punish the kid, some quite serious of what the Hokage was about to say. But there was another secret. Whose child was he? Whose child did the Hokage used? Did you ever wonder that? As now, everyone's expression changed into one of curiosity. You see, at the time, the wife of 4th Hokage, the Red Death of Konoha, Kushina, was pregnant. And she was the one who gave birth to a baby boy that day that was used at the Jinchuriki. The son of both the 4th Hokage and the Red Death, Minato and Kushina, was Naruto. And they placed their burden on him, trying their best to save us. And what did we do? give them in return spat on their legacy and their last wishes so now in front of all of you I'm revealing this secret because I have determined that Naruto is strong enough to protect himself and he's ready to take responsibility as the Namikaze and Uzumaki clan had now as everyone's eyes widen Naruto was not from a single clan but from a double clan as well as Sasuke Sakura were shocked to the core and so were Naruto's friends as Kakashi's eyes were widen as well Wait, it can't be. Sasakura, how can he be the fourth Okage's son? Same way you are the child of your own mother, Sakura. What makes you think that he can't be? As Sakura was quite embarrassed when Sasuke said these words, but Sasuke's eyes were narrowed as well. He finally saw that Naruto was not a clanless fool like he thought he was. He had a clan. But like him, he had none left. So he felt a sort of kinship towards Naruto as well. As now we see, after that, the whole behavior of the village towards Naruto began to change. People feel guilty because they all saw the fourth Okage as their hero and his own son as the villain? No, 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 that couldn't be right. The elders were the ones who were the most unhappy about this because these three were the ones who wanted Naruto to be used as a weapon and now... The people feel guilty about him, even the civilian council who were their lackeys felt guilty because they were not aware of the hidden fact and were at, at the other side angry at the elders because they didn't reveal the whole truth to them. As now we see time begin to pass by as the team 7 begin to do their DRAG missions and Naruto's life begin to change for the better this time around. As Naruto and his team begin to do the D-rank missions, Naruto begin to realize that he was not only able to copy jutsus from or techniques from, well, shinobis and konovichis, he could also copy the abilities like stealth and so on from other things. One example was Tora, the cat they caught on their final mission, as a D-rank mission, I mean. As so after that, we see Naruto then said, Hey, Gigi, what is it, my boy? You think maybe we can, you know, have a C-rank mission now? I mean, we kind of did the 40 mission quota of the D-rank one. Hmm, it's not about the quota, my boy. Do you think you all are ready to move on and be given a bigger task? As that is when we see... Here is a look towards Kakashi. What do you think, Kakashi? I think they are more than ready to take at least a C-rank mission. As that is when Iruka then said, who was at the time present there, are you sure about that, Kakashi-san? Yes, I am. As that is when Iruka was ordered by Hiruzen to bring in Tazuna, a bridge builder from the land of waves. As once Tazuna was brought there, he was drunk and was filled with the stench of alcohol. As he then said, Huh? These brats are be the ones that are going to protect me? Are you sure, Hokage-sama? No disrespect, but these puny brats, even I can take care of them. As Naruto then said, Yes, yes, you could. Sarcastically, what do you say, Brad? You think you're funny? Yes, I am funny. You want to see something cool, old man? Yes. Show me what you can do, Brad. Orikino Jutsu. As Naruto transformed into a girl that caused both Hiruzen, Kakashi, Iruka, as well as the old man to cause 
well, pass out with a nosebleed as he was bonked on the head by Sakura. Damn it, Naruto, stop using that technique. As that is when Sasuke shook his head. Well, even if it is useless, it is kind of, well, useful in this sense that it knocked out not only him but everyone else. As after that, once everyone woke up, Naruto was bonked on the head again by Iruka. Ow! Why am I the only one getting bonked? Because you deserve it, you idiot. Realize where you stand, Naruto. Stop being disrespectful. Ugh, fine. You damn brat. You tricked me. Well, <clears throat> said Hiruzen. Now that I have your attention and all, all of you are done with your banter, I will inform you of the mission. It is simple. It is an escort mission. Thousand over here is to be escorted back to his village safely. And once you are done, you can return back to the village after the bridge that is there is completed. I see. Said Kakashi. Do you accept, Team 7? Yes, said everyone in unison. As after that, Kakashi informed them to go and prepare as they were about to depart and travel outside of the village for the first time. As Naruto was excited because with this new ability, he was gonna copy a lot of skills out there. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this part of guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And yeah, do let me know in the comment section of what should we add further on as we go along with this, you know, series. It is in scripted so I might change a lot of things based on your opinions. So yeah, do let me know what you guys think as this is where I'm going to be leaving today's video off. Peace.